black belt coach and instructor at camp, is one of my close friends, part of the Dirty South. Give it up for Philippe Gentry. Yes, uh, I am Philippe Gentry, that's true. Uh, Coach Rory and Coach Adam invited me to SBG camp in Portland. Uh, that was spring of 2015, and I fell in love with the association. The, the posture, pressure, possibility, the, all, all, the, all the methodologies that they were using to teach were just head and shoulders above what was going on anywhere else. And I wanted to be a part of it, and I asked to be a part of it, and they said yes. So the rest is history. Um, I'm going to do a neon belly section today. I've got a ton of content. Uh, we're going to go fast. Uh, we're going to do a little icebreaker real quick. Uh, I want you to find somebody that you have not talked to yet. Okay? And I want you to tell them on a scale of 1 to 10 how weird you are <laughs> and why. Finish with a double high five and then bring it in. Okay, you can't be that weird. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, one other thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, this year was a, a, a big year for me. The theme of this camp is inspiration. Life is pretty good. So ladies, listen up. If you are looking for a handsome, athletic, successful guy, Steve Whittier is available. <laughs> Let's get this started. This is Mike Green. He's going to just deal with my knee and belly today. So God bless him. All right, let me lay down. We're just going to warm up a little bit more. All right, so I want the person on bottom to just be in this position, feet on the ground. Heels close to your butt, they don't have to be touching. Okay, I'm gonna start with both hands on his knees. My right leg is gonna step inside. Second step, lower, okay? Lower is a big part. I don't wanna go step, step, drop. It's <coughs> lower and then right back. So just a little footwork here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's go. One, two, three. Yeah! That's nice. how you do it! Nice. <laughs> All right, bring it in. All right, so I've got a lot of content for you guys today. Uh, so I'm going to go quick. Let's start with the posture and the position. All right, so when I go knee and belly, what I want is to have my hip <coughs> set, the top of my foot, flush with his hip area, okay? I don't want him to be able to easily get underneath my foot at all, okay? So I'm gonna put that there. My knee, it's gonna go towards the armpit, okay? The angle of my shin is pretty important. I'm down here, it's very easy for Mike to, to build a frame and start creating space here. If I'm too far this way, he can keep his, his elbow pretty tight and unexposed and push my knee this way, okay? So I wanna aim for the armpit here. All right, now my, my butt is gonna kind of sit on his hip a little bit, okay? I have two, two choices for grips over here. I can grab the pant, or one of my favorites is to grab the gi top right here, okay? This hand, I'm looking for the lapel, and I'm, I'm making sure that my elbows are in, okay? Just like this, all right? My foot is flat, and my knee is up, okay? And I don't wanna have it too far extended. When it's extended like this, it takes away a lot of my athleticism, right? You don't run around like this, okay? So I want to be able to move here, all right? Now, what I want Mike to do once I get this posture is for him not using his hands to just move a little bit, okay? Shrimp, bump, bridge, so that I can make sure that my, my position is stable, all right? And then I can ride this, okay? My elbows are in, my knee is pointing at the armpit, my foot is flush with his hip, and I'm kind of sitting back here on his hip, okay? If you find yourself going this way, it's because your head's too far this way, all right? Your head's heavy, so bring it back a little bit, okay? Let's play. One, two, three. Now you've got the, the position as far as the posture. Let's work on getting there, okay? So 
we're going to start inside here. Uh, I'm typically looking to grip on uh, on this side, whether it be the the shoulder underneath the armpit, the lapel. You just got to find something that works for you. But I want to be tight here. Now I'm looking to go towards the, the pants and drop my elbow. Okay, this is an important detail. If I grab here and I st start to bring my knee up, this hip's got to uh, have a lot of freedom still. So I want to drop this elbow, framing his hips. Okay, now from here what I want to do is just slide this knee up little by little. Okay, right into my position. Okay, from here what I want Mike to do is just again, move a little bit, just wiggle from the bottom. Maintain it and go back. Okay, make it down here. <coughs> this frame here. Slide it up. Right into position. Okay, everybody got it? Yeah. Alright, let's go. One, two, three. If you've been training jujitsu for any period of time, right, you know that when Mike pushes here, I'm gonna do things like grab the arm and step around arm bar. And that there's chokes available. Right? I can just keep him stuck here. There's all kinds of fun stuff, right? So what I'm going to do today is deal with some of the things that aren't necessarily common, okay, and give you some good strategies there. Um, I see knee and belly as a great position to uh, hold somebody in, but it's also a very transitional position. Okay, I know what Mike's going to do. He's either going to, you know, do a big bump and shrimp out. He's going to try to turtle up. Um, those are probably two of the most common, so we're going to deal with those real quick. What I want Mike to do is go ahead and start to turtle that way. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> and now he's gone, right? So what I'm going to do is transition my grip here, okay? Go ahead, Mike, to the collar. The moment I feel Mike starting to go this way, I know what he's going to do, okay? And I'm going to beat him to whatever position he's going to towards. Okay, so I'm here. He starts to go, I'm gonna grab the collar and post. Okay, now from here, go ahead, turtle. I'm gonna keep that knee on as long as I can until this pocket opens up right here. Okay, once that pocket opens up, I'm gonna throw my hook. So again, we're here, slow, go, post, hook. Okay, once I have my hook in, I no longer need this post, and I actually want my weight to go towards this direction. So I'm going to let go of the post and get my seatbelt. Okay, in, in sport jujitsu, of course, I'm going to throw the second hook and get the points. Uh, if I'm not looking for points, I actually like this here. Okay, and the reason I like to play this here is because Mike's going to try to get his back on the mat. And this makes that very difficult for him. Okay. So let's just work on getting that position and then we'll give it a nice finish. So again, I'm here. Mike goes to turtle, transition, column, post. Throw my hook. Once my hook's in, I want to drop my weight towards my left shoulder. Boom. And take Mike with me. If I find that I'm not centered, let's say Mike falls like this. Okay, no problem. One scoot and now I'm attached. Okay. One more time. Somebody have a question? Yeah. So, whatever, whatever grip I have here, whether it be on the, the pant or the gi top, is going to transition the same side collar. And what that's going to do is it's going to kind of dictate the pace of his roll and keep me attached to him. Right? So, if I just try to go ahead, I just try to go in here, see how I kind of fell off. So I'm not able to control the pace of that roll at all. Okay? So when I grab this collar as Mike goes, it keeps me attached to him more. Right? And I'm able to control that pace and then pull him back where I want him. Make sense? Yeah. Alright, let's play. One, two, three.